man, I hate Red Day. It's always so boring and they always put random people on duty. I mean, seriously, all we've had to join so far with Metal Heart. In another and rubber in the first turn drum, that'll come true. But we need more people. There's only four more to go and one of them is the only way we're hoping would show up. I don't get it. Who's this cyber ninja from Transformers that's joining us and what's so special about him? Hey, is this Media League of Sigma-6 headquarters? Polly, you've managed to convince Pearl from Transformers Animated to join the channel. Jeff has been wanting Animated Pro on this channel for a while. But since the Transformers Animated show got discontinued, we're working on getting that route from my trained you know, sir's Nate. This is going to be one credit channel! Oh, I went red! I'm not to interrupt or anything, but Jana has left for the Ratchet and Clank universe, so Roxy, you should sound like you're in set because we're in the air. Oh, I can do that. Welcome to Media League Cyber 6, where characters come together in one place. I am filling in for Jenf while he deals with a problem in the multiverse in the Ratchet and Clank Inverse with his Earth-17 counterpart. So you're wondering what the 303rd video is going to be? Well, the people demand it is and so we're going to give Sonic a day off by having him be at the beach in Vancouver. In the meantime, I've given everyone here in the studio great stuff like the light sparkle and her friends are watching attacking of the eye creators. Eggman is searching for Sonic for a while. 
Turn plans to steal a product's prism. Shirt from Rusty Rose when she arrives and my entails and Sally are at a meeting. That's it. I... 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 Search it right this year. This year. And I'm going to watch each of them until Sonic and Jeff returns. Media League Sigma 6 will continue right after this commercial break. And now, great moments with great YouTube heroes with JNF. Sure, there's a lot of forms of evil all in the world. But boredom is my greatest enemy. And I'll be honest, my creativity is not what it used to be. That's why I drink milk to go. It's got all the energy in there to get me right. A girl known as Luna says that's totally cheating. Hmm, not really. Milk to go the optical beverage of Media League Sigma 6. And now we return to Media League Sigma 6. Tails and Amy, where Sonic? He's not here right now. He's on vacation. Vacation? I can't believe it. There's never a hero round when you need one. What a scheme. Sonic on a vacation. Rusty Roo will be here with a shard of the Paradox Prism. I steal from the sideboard making both her and Sonic look bad which will make both Eggman look worse. Invest in a nonfence vote and bingo. Dr. Eggman and Mr. Dr. Eggman get stuck making me... <laughs> Hey, are you balding, fair skin, a tiny child who sleeps underneath a tree? Well, it don't matter who you are, you need a fedora. Fedoras have been around since the early or late 1920s. He's and they ain't going nowhere. Sure, they can be a little hard to hold on to. Ooh, but when you find that certain special one, you'll be brimming with confidence. And if you want a fedora like this for your own, go over to ebay.com and I'm in purchase one. They have a fine selection in a fedora's there. Here. Here. Fedoras. Pizza, meatballs, soup, and hot dogs with mustard. If you're leaving a mess of food stains while eating, we need to take a meeting. Silver's Kitchen Cleaning Services. And back to Media League Sigma 6. Okay, look, girls, when I send you a movie to watch, they were supposed to be good unless I've sent you a really bad one. Well, we are about to show for a to position in a series still frames that shows the producers of this film attack of the eye creatures just didn't care. Exhibit 1, please, Spike. Thank you. Yes, the night intolerant eye creature spearheaded the bone chilling assault on Earth was actually quite a lovely day. In fact, you couldn't have chosen a perfect day to film a night sequence. After midnight or high noon, you decide. You see, they just didn't care. Spike, next, please. Thank you, yeah, creatures, the scabby, inflexible, lethargic, mucus expelling creatures having no spoken language and no particular powers with which to conquer. They were also unfortunate enough to have evolved heavy duty zippers running up their backs. This frame is a clear indication that they just didn't care. Spike, thank you. Some eye creatures are born with scaly protected coverings. Others are born with hundreds of eyes, prop root and flesh and hopes. Still others like this whisper thin fellow are born with tight acrylic wool blend turtle neck sweaters from Chess King. Folks say just didn't care. Spike, thank you. Take a look, a look at this guy. Go on, take a good long look. You see, they just didn't care. Spike, thank you. If you were ever in a fight with any creature, keep in mind that his head is simply draped casually over his shoulders and should be no trouble to knock off. Feeling that any creature tend to be most vulnerable in their union soup re illustrated here. Get ready to give chase to an injury creature as you can see that he is wearing his jack bristle athletic shoes. Folks, 
They just did not care. The Ellen Sherman wannabe in the leopard skin robe? The little British serial killer and in the multicolor shed dress. The unexplained shot of Gertrude Steen examples all that. They, they just, just didn't, didn't care. care. We rest our case. Media lead Sigma 6 will return after these messages. Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic. Our takeover of General Motors and all its vehicles is are now under the red control of me, Dr. Eggman. I'm sorry, but am I no longer Dr. Super Villain Eggman? I'm Dr. Good Eggman? Now? I didn't get the memo. Climate change is arguably the number one threat to the world right now. As the war in Ukraine is the number three threat to the world, you, Dr. Eggman, are now the number two threat to the world. Well, I refuse to be number two, Mecha Sonic. Heck, I prefer to be number one. We have to protect the planet. Oh, please, tear dropping. For my son, Metal Sonic Jr. <gasps> Your son? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's save the world from climate change and then afterwards, we'll take over the world! Let's go! We're going all electric! General Motors, please help us save the planet. When your kitchen smells bad, there's no one to blame. No need to apologize or cower in shame. Call for a clean-out. Silver is the name. Because it beats losing your home in a big orange flame. Silver's Kitchen Cleaning Services. And now we're back to Immediately Sigma 6. We've called you here today because of something that happened in the 300th video a few weeks ago. Why do we need to know that? It was almost like I had trip to Vegas. Clearly you've never understood the true reason for Sonic missing out on the space fight. Scarlet and Omega, what is going on? I don't you are friends with Nemesis Primal here. Wait, you, you don't know, huh? I thought you all have already have figured it out by now. Figure what out? Before returning from Poppy Playtime, I've ended up in the future, guys. I saw what happened. I know what's going on with Sonic. That's not possible. I find that hard to believe, Smurda. I have tried to warn you about it. But clearly all it was doing was buoying its time. But you weren't there when you were Lord Dren, Nemesis Primal. We know what happened. Sonic couldn't be a host body for the entity. Guys have learned this from the future. Sonic is the host body for it. That's why he's doing all this. It's just a little hard to take it as all. How long has old Glitter has been in the driver's seat? Since... By Chrono's Scepter's destruction, the entity had laid dormant inside Sonic since its apparent suicide. I know not why it needed to hide out in him, but it did so asleep and unaware. It affected him, offered certain protections while being inside of him. One such protection was immunity from the Chrono staff's poor combined. The Charles Amaro's, when my last Mech Imperial officer used it on Sonic, it awoke the entity and it destroyed both officer and the staff in retaliation for disturbing it. It's That's why the space colony are confined the entity on Mobius. It wasn't on Earth. Did it bring in the Decepticons into our universe? No, it did not bring the Decepticons into Mobius. That was simply a gateway opening. 
I suspect that it planned for that eventually, however. Then that whole crossover of events Sonic went through, it was all done by the entity. And the leper standing I wear with the Matrix. I remember that if I got on my phone was when it died and I'm looking over his shoulder was him controlling Sonic. But one thing still didn't make sense. Why did it take so long to make a comeback? If the Chromo staff is what work it up, why not just tell Sonic so he can take care of it? When I was in the future, the individuals would only give me so much information in the fur of this piece of paper. I didn't want to alter the timeline or anything. Sonic wasn't allowed to know. But was it a warning message? No, because it isn't a warning message at all. It's not a warning at all. It's insurance. Of course, it's brilliant. Hey. The entity is a being made of energy living data, so if you want to find something like that, you have to do so in a similar manner to its existence in code. to see that you guys finally saw the end of the entity finally die. Oh, it was nothing really. So, how was your time at Ratchet and Clank's and Evers? Well, it's like this, Sally. I've done the on a video themed around a screenplay I wrote back in college during 2011. And now I'm ready to do some video making again. So if you don't mind, Roxanne Wolf, I would like my, my seat back. Were you, Jen? Anything? Liz, I need a vacation. 